Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to auto build and auto publish database project in Team Foundation 2013. There are a few things, few configuration needs to be done uh, before we will we'll say that it's uh, successfully completed. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to show you right here. Uh, first, when we uh, do our build, we need to put some parameters that uh, these are three par uh, parameters right here, dash T build. Uh, what it does is th that it starts the build process and it's auto build and then next we the parameters we need to give is uh, publish and I'll show you in a in a second that uh, where we need to give that parameters it is going to be in the definition of our build when you you first create the build if you don't know how to create the build you should uh, watch my video uh, how to create a build of a database project in T Team Foundation Server 2013 and that is a manual build but uh, the difference between that video and this video in this video we're going to do auto build and auto publish uh, when we talk about the publish you can do it manual publish right click and publish the database if the build is successful and uh, you can publish it to the target server but here we wanted to do is we wanted to give our um, environment whether it's a dev SQL environment or if it's a test SQL server environment or if it's a production SQL server environment and we will give that uh, SQL publish profile path there uh, and that would contain um, all the connection information that where we want to publish this particular database project so these three things we need to set um, in build um, definition and I'm going to show you how keep in mind that you can just uh, um, look at it and copy paste um, and uh, I'm gonna show you where to do it so this is my um, client server uh, up here if you look at it you know, solution I have a, a solution tech brothers demo uh, database solution it has all the um, uh, functions and store procedure um, and uh, uh, I'm gonna show you the build definition for that we need to go to the team explorer and go to this is uh, if you're not at proper place you click on home go to build and this will show you all the uh, uh, build successful build that you had if you have retention um, uh, done but um, if you wanted to uh, create a new build definition you can click that what we're going to do up here in in, in this particular um, um, demo we're going to add it um, I'm going to show you where that um, uh, parameters needs to be done in order for uh, us to um, do the uh, auto build and auto publish this particular database project so we're gonna go ahead and select this one and click on action and wait a minute let me go to I'm gonna close this one so that we can see a little bit more options right here and uh, this is our Tech Brothers demo DB and uh, we're going to edit the build definition again I said that you can create a new build right here and uh, we're gonna go ahead and edit the build definition in order to see that what uh, where those um, parameter needs to be filled in so this is our build definition if you look at here uh, this is the uh, build definition name uh, Tech Brothers demo and we need to uh, queue processing enabled uh, for it to work as automatic so if you go to trigger uh, trigger up here the first option in my previous uh, video I used the first option because I wanted to do the manual build I didn't want it to uh, start build um, on a particular trigger but in this one especially I wanted to do it continuous integration because I want it every time check-in happens the build should start um, right away and uh, it, after the build should start when we click on build according to our parameters which I'll show you in a second is gonna build our solution and it also going to publish our solution to our target database so um, click on so source setting these are the source setting and the build default that's fine this is the our draw folder where uh, we, we can look at our uh, build and also the logs so process up here this is important right here uh, we can choose our default template which uh, SQL Server has um, uh, three templates you can actually edit the template uh, which I'll show you in next videos uh, and um, change the workflows and you wanted to uh, w you you can uh, do it uh, uh, edit the workflow and do whatever you need to, to in, in order to manipulate that uh, particular workflow and uh, do its um, task 
so you can do that later on but I'll show you in, in uh, preview uh, next videos so we're gonna go ahead and use the default template uh, and up here this is um, the clean work uh, workspace that's true get virgin if you wanted to have a specific version for this build that you can provide that here label sources should um, be true I wanted my labels there so up here the build this is going to be your solution it's going to build this particular solution and advanced if you look at it click on advanced if it's not open for you up here is MS build arguments that's where I need to put all those um, our parameters right here dash build will do the build dash publish will do the auto publish and where to publish is this is where we want to publish so if you look at up here this is dash t space dash t publish dash space dash p publish profile path equal to this is the tbs uh, um, uh, tbs database dot publish dot xml and i'm going to show you that how you get that um, it's very easy and uh, once you save that file you need to give because this has the connection information whether uh, this build is going to be published in your test environment whether it's going to be published in uh, um, uh, you know your production environment so uh, rest everything really stays the same if you wanted to change some other uh, build definition settings you can but uh, so far for this uh, uh, the scope of this video we're going to just do it auto build and auto publish so we're, we're gonna go ahead and save it and if you look at the solution right here right here is my TBS DB um, publish dot XML which I put it right here if you added that that part, this particular file it would have the connection information in XML format but uh, how to get that easily you can go ahead right click on the database and click on publish all right so this is our publish up here we wanted to let's say that we wanted to go ahead and uh, uh, do the auto build and auto publish in our production environment so what I'm going to do is click on edit and give the SQL server where you want to publish this uh, particular uh, solution so I'm going to do it uh, SQL TBS SQL that's my server SQL prod is my instance Windows authentication if you're using uh, Azure that does not take Windows authentication uh, you need to provide a SQL Server authentication so anyway uh, this is uh, the SQL Server and instance uh, this is the database that we would like to be implemented uh, you can change the database name if you want to but this is the database name you cannot test connection because this database does not exist because we haven't actually um, uh, published this uh, uh, particular database onto our um, as a production server so if you click on that you're gonna go ahead and click OK and after that in order to create that XML file you're gonna go ahead and click save profile as and up here it's gonna give you uh, that uh, uh, tech brothers dot publish and right here is dot uh, static dot publish dot XML what you need to do is uh, just rename this particular file like I just did right here and once you do that I'm gonna cancel it I'm gonna show you where it appears it appears right here and it will be checked out at that time but you need to what you need to do is right click and check in that uh, 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 particular uh, file and um, once the check-in happen keep in mind our build process is that uh, if you look at the trigger our build pro pro process is continuous integration so that means that uh, every time a check-in happen in this solution it's gonna kick it's gonna trigger uh, the build and auto publish so what I'm going to do right now I'm going to check out for edit and then I'm going to maybe I'm gonna go ahead and this is my um, SQL this is my table I'm going to do it uh, on maybe right here and I'm going to go ahead and check check out for um, edit so this is going to check out and now I'm going to say that okay this is 
new version and this is properties and allow no and I'm gonna go ahead and add another tech broad TBS column I'm going to do and bar car I'm gonna do it about 10 and I want to say okay allow null in that so after that I made that I'm gonna go ahead and save all and go back here and I'm going to check in my changes so keep in mind that as soon as I check in it's going to start our build and I'm going to do it check in and let's look at go home and look at the build as you can see right here it started the started our build we're gonna go ahead and open and let's see what it's doing so right now it's just going through the build process and then after that it's going through the publish process and then we will go on our SQL Server, target SQL Server, and see if that particular database has been published right. These are a few warnings. Uh, in production, you do want to look at the warnings, what the warnings are, and uh, clear them before you do anything. But um, once this uh, build is successful, then we're going to go on our target server and see if that particular database that we're trying to do in this particular solution is uh, uh, on target server or not so excuse me our um, our build is successful our publish is successful so we're gonna go ahead into our SQL server which is right here and let's see if that particular database which is Tech Brothers um, DB demo DB appears here right here right here if you uh, look at it tech brothers demo db and we have our um, tables and everything coming from tfs and this is how you do a uh, database auto build and auto um, auto publish and i hope this video helps